1967, my father, John Sansoni Sr., bought Los Altos typewriter. When I was in high school, he wanted me to come down and learn a little bit about the business world. So I started working here off and on throughout high school and a little bit of college. Typewriters were used all day in the office. So we've seen the typewriter evolve over the 20 or 30 years. Uh -huh. And you know, there are people that still just love to use it. I think the computer can do everything that the typewriter can used to be able to do or can do. And so the typewriter, as far as the functions of a typewriter are concerned, I mean, they're just totally extinct now. With all the technology, I think something is lost not using manual typewriters. Uh -huh. um, a lot of people like the feel and the response and the creativity from a manual typewriter that they don't get from a computer keyboard and a monitor staring at their face. A lot of young people that are saturated with technology enjoy using manual typewriters. Yeah, looking at all the different manual typewriters and the from each, oh a lot of out. character, each decade the shapes are a little different, yeah. um, the colors are magnificent. They had purples, greens, varieties of reds, blues in the 20s and the 30s. Not all manual typewriters are black like most people think. So they were very creative back then when they were making these machines. Well, the first typewriter I ever used was a old manual Underwood typewriter and that was when I was 12 years old and that was in 1940. And I taught myself where the keys were on that old typewriter just by going through the alphabet. We have customers, many of them, that are writers that want to use the uh, typewriter instead of the computer because it, it slows them down. They don't feel like they have to correct and delete and like they do when they're using the computer. The point of it is just for them to get their thoughts down on the page. That's their whole point. Yes, sitting at a typewriter you know that only your thoughts are going to be on that keyboard. There's no distraction from a monitor or the internet. So it could be useful in schools perhaps? Yeah, it is. It would be a good learning tool. Um, you would become a better speller. Yeah. Um, and you would become a more efficient keyboarder. And you're also learning something about just the way things work. Uh -huh. The physical movement, um, the parts, the springs, gears, rubber parts, belts, just how things used to be built yeah. and how they were built to to last. The old typewriter had you know several disadvantages. <laughs> it's almost uh, extinct now. Yeah. I mean I don't know of uh, very many people that will use a typewriter now. In 20 years I think there will just be the well taken care of old antique collectible machines that people just love and cherish that will be just you know, on display in people's homes, kept for sentimental values, and then used as they are used now, and then always the creative person will always yeah. have one. The writers and the poets and the people that write music lyrics. So they'll still be around. Right. Just very few. Like the only use of a typewriter now is kind of to uh, put it on display so you can show somebody that you have an old typewriter. <laughs>